Hey y'all and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining me today to see my review on Jeffree Star's new palettes. These are the new collection. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to get demonetized. I haven't seen any other reviews so I'm not sure what I can say and get away with without uh, YouTube being mad at me. So we're just going to refrain from actually saying the word. But um, let's start off by talking about the packaging. The packaging is a little much but I also am here for it. I really like the little bodies and I don't know. I think it's cute. I like the packaging. I know a lot of people are not into the name and not into the packaging, but if you just don't think about it and you just look at the product itself, then maybe you can get past it. I'm not sure. Today, we're going to review it. We're going to see if it's going to actually be worth your money or if you can just stick with the nudes that you already have in your collection. What I want to look for especially is how well these blend because a lot of the times you can have nude eyeshadows and that take they take forever to blend out so I'm hoping that that these palettes don't take a lot of blending or for me that's just gonna like take a like a tally like that's one reason why you shouldn't get it because it'll take forever to blend so we're gonna figure it out now I am your average consumer I am in no way shape or form good at eyeshadow so I'm reviewing this as your everyday consumer <laughs> so if I don't like like it you might not like it but that's what we're gonna do so if you would if you do enjoy these types of videos from me then please give this video a thumbs up feel free to subscribe because it would mean so much to me and let's go ahead and get into the video okay so I did ask my subscribers what they wanted to see specifically from these palettes and I'm gonna start off by showing the mini palette here now I have been told well I was originally told by someone that they got their palette from Beautylish which is where I got mine and they said that a lot of the shades in this palette had like no payoff whatsoever and they were really hard and then I noticed that other people were saying that as well let's see first off I can't get the palette out <laughs> come on it's really snug as a bug in a rug okay I'm gonna first I'm gonna swatch these because I just want to see for myself if you know what people are saying is true so that's what we're gonna do this palette is actually really pretty wow okay look at it that's a really pretty little palette there let's just start off glass wet this feels exactly like that new formula that he came out with is that's what this feels like yeah that's kind of like a shadow topper it's mostly like glitter we got champagne drip next to that that looks really pretty gagging okay I swear watched all of the shades here. Oh, I'm like the worst swatcher ever. Um, I swatched all of the shades on my arm and I see what people are saying uh, about the hard pan and the like little snow payoff. Those are the shades that are the new formula, the like very wet, almost like a super shock shadow kind of formula. And that's, I think what people are talking about. Glass wet, what was it? Foam party, frozen fire. And I think gagging are the ones that were all of that formula. Maybe if I'm not mistaken but I, I see where they're coming from and it has that little snow payoff it's kind of like almost a shadow topper and it's very light but you can build it up and honestly these are actually my favorite formula the new one except for we have to see how well the glitter actually sticks because in the cremated palette and I talked about this on my live in the cremated palette the shades that were uh, that new wet formula that cake that started out in the bloodlust palette like Paul Bearer this one here, which is the same formula as the ones that you guys were saying didn't have payoff. The glitter after like 30 minutes was all over my face. It did not stick to my eyes and it was just a mess. So um, that's what I'm going to be looking out for, for these shades to see if they do that because not all of them do that. So I'm just like, you know, it's annoying. Why have a shade that has glitter all over your face? I do not like that. So I'm definitely going to play with these as well today and see if there's any type of fallout. And then here we have the big or oh, I'm not gonna say the word <laughs> um, and let's take a look actually okay so I was hating on the first two rows of this palette when I saw it online but I'm not hating as much I do have to say that the first row is a little too much but the second row does have some diversity here like I thought it was basically one shade but when you're seeing it in person it's 
all different tones like a like a yellow a pink a peach a more neutral peach it kind of looks almost green the next one and like a pinky purple but this first row this first row could have been like three shades and not the whole first row if I'm being honest but everything else I think looks really well and uh, I think he picked really good shades for the rest of the palette but that first row it could have been like three shades but I see the second row in person and yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm just going to do the shadow and put it in fast forward you guys can see and I will make stopping points and tell you how it's going <laughs> for me because I don't want this video to be like really long I don't want to make like really long reviews and just get the point across does that make any sense we're gonna figure it out because I'm gonna start playing with makeup and like reviewing stuff so we'll we'll, we'll learn as we go you guys give me your suggestions on how I should do this because you're the ones actually watching and I hate reviews that are so long I don't like watching them and I don't want you guys to have to sit through and watch it because I know you're not so let me know any pointers all the criticism on how you want me to do reviews let me know so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my eyeshadow and doing some stopping points to tell you if something's not working out or if things are working out fine then I'll just keep on going and I'll give you final thoughts after the fact and um, yeah let's go ahead and get started it up whoops 
whatever. <laughs> As you can tell, there is fallout. A lot of fallout. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do my liner and lashes and all that and I'll be back because I don't want this video to be long and you don't need to see me do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the completed look. It looks kind of like garbage over here. I don't understand. I guess I suck. But this is the look. What do we think? I have some final thoughts. <laughs> Let me back you up. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to say this in the most nicest way possible. Do you need to go out and purchase these palettes? No, you don't. And this is basically a first impressions kind of video, but you do not need these palettes. They're way too expensive. And honestly, I think any of the neutral shadows you have in your collection already will work perfectly fine and you'll get literally the same look. Maybe the tone will be a little different and whatnot, but at the end of the day, a neutral look is a neutral look but I'm gonna talk about the palette separately really quick now this one this one I have a feeling is going to be a glittery mess and I don't know how any way to like fix that unless you use the glitter glue as a base because I do have glitter all down my face and I forgot to mention this that you should definitely do your makeup after you do your eye makeup, so eye makeup first, but I didn't say this and I just actually remembered the last review, uh, the last look I did with my cremated palette, because I did film a video, I just never uploaded it and I deleted it because of all the drama. I did do my makeup after my eye makeup, which I never do, and that's when I had the glittery mess all over my face. So I have a feeling that this palette is going to be just like the cremated, the glittery mess. You're gonna walk outside and realize you're like Edward from Twilight. That's basically what it's gonna be. But it is very, very pretty, but until I figure out, or I can, I guess I can Google if it'll work, some Something that will keep the glitter on my eye and not from like falling down on my face. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. But do you need this palette? No, because a lot of these shimmers are probably in the palettes you already own as well. Maybe not exactly, but you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't, I think this one is more worth it. I don't, actually, I have no idea. I don't really, I don't, I'm trying to say this without like getting hate. More than likely, I'll turn the comments off. But I'm just, I'm a very unbiased person and I like to be honest. But I don't know, this is just, I think this is going to be a glittery mess. I'm sorry, I think it is. I think it's going to be glitter all over your face. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Have you tried this yet? Did you have glitter all over your face? And do you know how to prevent that? Because I would love to use this more, but this is not like other shimmers, which look the exact same on the eyes. Like if you use this and then another palette and they're both like similar colors, this glitter, the other palette, no glitter. Like that's, you see what I'm saying? The glitter just comes out of this and I don't like that. Now the big palette here, I have a few thoughts on. Now <laughs> when I used this shade here, it came out way darker than I thought. So this palette I think is going to be very, very versatile because you do have the options here to choose so many different tones of your of your neutral look like you can go a little bit more warm a little bit more cool and you can mix and match but do you need it no if you're someone that doesn't really have any neutrals in your collection i say go for it get this palette it will be worth it it's like what six bucks a shade or something like that and you do get a really big pan size so if you don't have a lot of neutrals in your collection i say go out and get it it's very pigmented even the light shades where you saw where i messed up it actually covered up <laughs> really well the darker shades that's how pigmented it was and I didn't even lose the pigmentation when I was blending so I I do think that the few shades that I did use were really really good shades I don't think the palette sucks I think the palette is actually really really good based off of the shades that I did try but I don't think it's worth buying if you already have like a million different nude palettes because then you'd just be wasting your money because I'm sure you'll find exact same shade matches in all your other palettes if not based basically almost the same, but it's still a really, really good palette. And am I regretting my purchase? Uh, somebody asked what I know now, would I go back and buy these palettes again? I would buy this one. I would not buy this one because I pretty much have the same shades in this one other than like that middle shade because that one's pretty unique. I wouldn't buy this one. It's just a glitter mess, but I would buy this one again. I really would. If you have the money to spend and like you really want it, I think it's worth it. But if you have a lot of nudes and you don't have the money to spend, it's not worth it. And 
that's that's it. It's just not going to be worth it because it's just it, at the end of the day, it's a neutral look, and you can create that with so many other palettes. And um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than it's good, but you also don't need it. It's not something you need. I think it's the best palette that you can buy from Jeffree Star when it comes to work appropriate. A lot of workplaces will not let you play with like crazy colors because they're just that's just not work appropriate. Like in a business type setting. So if you're someone who has always wanted to try Jeffree Star makeup, but it's just been too wild, this one is something that you should pick up. But um, yeah, that's just my thoughts and opinions there. Uh, let me know everything down below on your thoughts and opinions. Did you like the look that I created? I know I kind of messed up, but also I'm, I'm not a professional, okay? Yeah, let me know all your thoughts and opinions. And always remember, it's about the makeup. It's not about the person. Uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. If I have any additional things that I would like to say, like if the glitter fallout gets even worse throughout the day, I will have more comments in the description if it wears well, if you start to see the shades get muddy or anything like that. All of those after the fact throughout the day, I will have in the description instead of coming back to this video. That is it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.